This is a diary of Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly from 26th of March, 6182 since creation, or 26th of March, 2019 of the Common Era. Okay, it's, uh, I did an entry on the 22nd and the 23rd, and here's another one now on the 26th. Um, nothing's changed since the last entry, uh, just sort of, um, gone on doing my videos on YouTube, um, uh, written a little bit of stuff, um, uh, Clamming and Clans, Clamming and Clans number three, and, um, just quiet life here at home, and, um, the few things have come in the mail, I've got, um, got some stamps from Malta today, and, uh, Batman, uh, number 448, I think it was, came in the mail, or 449, one or the other, um, The Penguin Affair Part 3, that, that issue, from about 1990-ish, somewhere around there. And um, that came today, and um, uh, Mum's going down to um, the Sister Jacinta's on Friday night, she said. I won't be back probably until Sunday. So I'll have the uh, quiet, quiet weekend to myself. And uh, yeah, I might, might give Rob Preston a call, see if he can come around and stuff. But generally, um, in the last couple of days, not much has happened. I um, haven't been sick at all, because I occasionally get sick. But uh, I've been in good enough health for the last couple of days, and I've been going okay with my things. Um, I just acquired enough business as usual, really. I haven't done any more scribal work, but I've been intending to get to that, to work on the... Um, the trophy child story. I've completed prayers for um, my Bible, my newer revised standard version. I've completed my prayers on that Bible, and that Bible has now been retired as well. And I've got, I'm bidding on an auction on eBay for a new revised standard version Bible, which will be my new prayer Bible. And um, I'll probably win the auction actually, um, and um, should get that new couple of weeks I suppose. Uh, so that'll be the new prayer Bible and I'll start a new prayer campaign as it were on that particular Bible. Uh, I've completed um, some more of the Golden Dragon. The Golden Dragon Part 5 got completed today, uh, which is one of the videos I've been working on. Um, quite happy with it actually. I came out well with the story. And uh, each of the golden dragon parts has an original dragon piece of artwork on the cover. And uh, they're okay pieces of artwork. They run through filters, of course, to tighten them up a bit, make them look a bit better. But very original artwork. And uh, done some music and stuff, and a uh, bit of comedy, and. Uh, same old, same old, really, for my video production. Uh, got a, uh, got to arrange my injection for mental health for this Friday. I have to arrange that tomorrow properly. Um, my script still has uh, a medic, medic, one or two uh, repeats still left on it. They give you five repeats in these. Um, scripts from the doctors in Australia so you can get it five times well, five, or six, five repeats so you might be able to get it six times I don't, don't know exactly how it works but it's the first one you get and then you get five after that or you get five all up I'm not sure which is which but you, I think you probably get five all up but I don't know for sure but once that's finished you've got to get a new script for, for me medication you take on a recurring basis and I take uh, in Vegas Stena on a recurring basis every month so I'll have to get a new script soon enough from my doctor, Dr. Westcombe, down at the um, mental health in Tuggeron. The medication is covered by the, I think it's called the PBS scheme, the Pharmaceutical, Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme. So the price comes right down to about $6.50 or something. So it's very affordable medicine and um, 
it's not gonna it doesn't cost me very much and I'm one of the lucky ones in, in unlucky in as much as that schizophrenia can be an awkward condition to live with but um, it's not that bad in some ways compared to other physical disabilities that uh, when you've lost limbs or you're blind or deaf or something and uh, um, those sort of, sorts of things which can be really quite debilitating and a great impairment but not having your, your mind function properly that can really be quite a severe disability and in the mental health group I've noticed some people um, really it affects the conditions that they're under which are similar to mine um, can affect them in quite quite strong ways you know the voices can really be quite strong in some people and uh, they live in their sort of little shell and I used to be in a bit of a shell for a while I, uh, when I was not strongly medicated even when I was I'd go into a shell a lot of the time and you lived in your own world where you listen to the voices and you just a lot of activity is going on in your mind and you, you know what's going out on, on uh, around you but you sort of live in your own world where it's all the, the, the chit, chitter chatter in your head and the voices and just your thinking you're almost crazy thinking a lot of the time indeed but uh, whatever's occupying whatever your passions are or you're occupied with can often be a thing you're sort of nattering over and you can, it's just a strange world the world of psychotic schizophrenia um, I've healed a lot I think over the over a number of years, probably because my religion is stabilizing me, I think, and I'm, uh, I see the truth, I think, more clearly, so that I'm not really paranoid much anymore, or, or delusional or anything like that. I was never really terribly delusional, but I, I had delusions. The voices are still there a tiny bit, but um, mostly it's under control. So that these days in my mental health, it's, it's reasonably good, and if I really wanted to, I could probably study again, and maybe even work again. I'm not sure if that's realistic completely, and I'm not sure if it'll ever really happen, but it's, it's a possibility. But having said that, I'm 46 years old now, and in a regular enough life, without any world to come adventing, I'd expect that I'm probably pretty much a retiree when it comes right down to it at the moment. So that uh, this is probably what you see is what you get in just the way the cookie crumbled for Daniel Thomas Andrew Bailey. Um, I'll have a smell. I haven't visited a prostitute. I haven't had a prostitute since about June 2017 and it's nearly two years now. And when I... I might have said this in my in my um, online on Facebook and things and in writings perhaps that I sworn off them completely out until I've repented of that sort of stuff. And pretty much genuinely have. It's, it's not a pretend repentance, and I don't really get tempted anymore either. It's like I've I fought through the issue enough that nah, I don't even really miss it terribly much. I like that sort of behaviour, don't get me wrong, intimacy with a woman is lovely stuff. But that's dead and finished with me, and uh, no more. Life is pretty good, I'm happy enough, and um, keep on keeping on, keeping the faith, walking in life, doing the things which we do as human people, and uh, I'm pretty sure the future is still going to be, in the long term, I think incredibly bright for me, I'm hoping anyway. Life is good enough and I'm happy enough and uh, this is Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly on the 26th of March 6182 or 2019. See ya.